breath work, the idea that when we um, are in certain extreme energetic states, like too restless or too lethargic, that there are, are breathing techniques that we can do to help bring us back to a kind of comfortable, middle, regulated, balanced state. And um, again, there's more than I could ever talk about in one of our sessions here. Again, the book go get the book. It's a really good book <laughs> where I explain it all in like vast, vast detail. And uh, we've discussed calming down. We did that last week. A couple of weeks ago, we discussed bringing the energy up. If you missed any of those and you want to watch those, just go to my YouTube page. I have them recorded on there so you can just watch them uh, again if you'd like to. And today, I want us to work with breath work that helps to regulate a disorganized energetic system. So sometimes we find ourselves in the binary, too hyper or too lethargic. Sometimes we find ourselves both at the same time. You know, we're restless and we're tired. Um, we're anxious and we're depressed. And it can be kind of confusing because we're not really sure what to do at that point. But luckily there are breathing techniques that are actually relatively simple. Not all of them are simple, but there are some that are relatively simple that help to bring us to a comfortable, balanced state. I kind of think about it as if we're kind of moving on a wave, we keep going up and down, up and down. You know, when we're hyper, there's a lot of peaking. And when we're depressed or lethargic, there's a lot of dipping. And when we're disorganized, we're just kind of all over the place, <laughs> you know, I mean, back and forth, but we're just keep going up and down, up and down. And so the idea is that all breathing techniques, but especially when you find yourself disorganized, is to come back to that baseline where the wave is very subtle, if at all, it's just flat. Um, and so today, what we'll be doing is working with a technique called the even breath, we inhale and exhale for the same length of time. And then later on, toward the end, we'll start to add holds during the breath. And my invitation when I ask you to hold your breath is only do so if it doesn't make you anxious. The moment it makes you anxious, either lessen how long you're holding the breath. So if I ask you to hold the breath for two counts, maybe go for one count. Or if that's not working, just don't hold the breath at all and do whatever technique led up to that point. And you're still doing great. So just know that that's there. And all of that is, again, to help bring you to that, that center point, uh, that center line on that wave. Okay. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So go ahead and sit comfortably in a position that feels good for you for about the next 20 minutes or so. making any adjustments in your seat and body to be comfortable here. And go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And there might be a sigh or some sort of exasperation with the exhale, and that's okay. You can let that happen. And that exasperation or sigh helping to sig signal to the nervous system that now is the time to rest, calm, and regulate. And after those few breaths, you can let the mouth close and breathe through the nose if you can. And begin to let go of any held tension in your body. And so relaxing any furrowing of your eyebrows or forehead. Relaxing the space behind your eyes. Relaxing any squeezing of the eyelids. And softening any flaring of the nostrils. Relaxing the lips. Your jaw. 
And feeling your tongue release away from the roof of your mouth. Relaxing your neck, your throat, letting the vocal cords relax to an open position. Feeling your shoulders drop away from your ears more, your arms are heavy, your hands unclasp. Feel the muscles in and around your abdomen soften. And the same with the muscles of your pelvis, your glutes. And relax the legs as well, ungripping the feet. And some of this tension might return, and when it does, just let it go again. Start to notice your current energetic state. How are you feeling energetically? Are you feeling tired, exhausted, burned out, lethargic, depressed, sluggish, or dull? Are you feeling anxious? Stressed, restless, hyper, frantic. Are you feeling calm and steady? Or something that feels more neutral? And thinking about the intent of today's practice, do you feel many of these things at the same time? And knowing that if any extreme state or paradoxical state of your nervous system or energy needs some support, this practice can help bring that support. So go ahead and bring your awareness back to your breath. Just relax the effort in breathing. And to help facilitate that relaxation, I want you to think about your diaphragm, the big umbrella muscle underneath your lungs that helps you to breathe. And notice if there's any compulsion or effort in the diaphragm to push the breath out or to pull the breath in, and just try to relax that extraneous effort. And the diaphragm will, of course, keep moving as it does autonomically. But there's no force. It moves with ease. And you may feel that effort return if your mind wanders and you become distracted. And so just relax it again, letting go of whatever thought came into mind. And just be with this relaxed diaphragm, this relaxed breath.
And now that we have relaxed the breath, we can bring some intention to it as we shape it. And so we'll begin to engage the even breath, making the length of the inhale and exhale the same. And so for today, I'd like you to inhale for the count of six and exhale for the count of six. And a count is whatever you use for internal measurement. It could be an estimated second or the sound of a word or syllable. Just do your best. And it may take a few rounds to get the breath even to this rhythm, in for six, out for six. And so take your time as you establish this breath. Inhaling for the count of six. Exhaling for the count of six. It's as if with every even breath, you're calling your energetic state to that midline, to that comfortable center, and that which is too high comes down, and that which is too low comes up. In for six out for six. And now we'll add on to this practice by inserting pauses during the breath. And again, if holding the breath makes you feel anxious or panicky at all, either shorten how long you're holding or don't hold at all. But at the top of your next six count inhalation, please hold the breath in for two counts. And at the bottom of your next six count exhalation, hold the breath out for two counts. Inhale for the count of six, holding the breath in for two counts. 
Exhaling for the count of six and holding the breath out for two counts. And then moving forward with this practice, we're going to add hold during the flow of breath. And if at any point this feels fatiguing, like it's too much, you can take a break and you can return to the practice when you feel ready to. With your next inhalation, please inhale one third of the breath. So just two counts. And then pause the breath for two counts. And then inhale another third of the breath, two more counts. And then hold the breath there for two counts. Then inhale the remainder of the breath, two counts. And hold the breath in at the top of the inhale for two counts. Exhale one third of the breath, two counts. And then hold for two. Exhale another third of the breath, two counts, and hold for two. Then exhale the remainder of the breath, two counts, and then hold the breath out for two. Inhale a third of the breath, pause for two. Inhale another third of the breath, and pause for two. Inhale the remainder. And pause for two. Exhale a third of the breath. Pause for two. Exhale another third of the breath. And pause for two. Exhale the remainder of the breath and pause for two. Please continue on your own, inserting a two count hold at each third of the breath. Inserting a two count hold at each third of the breath. And in those pauses, feel the energy in your body come to that midline. Continuing for another half a minute or so. And 
And then finish this final breath. Taking your time as you get there. And once you finish, let go of the technique, no more holding or counting, but do try to keep the breath regulated. Again, the lessening of effort in the diaphragm. And feel yourself more balanced. More centered and peaceful. More regulated. and anything else you might be experiencing as a result of this practice. This deeper sense of harmony And know that these breathing techniques are tools for you to use whenever you need them. You're empowered now. The breath is always with you. And so remember them in times of need. And so from that place, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring the palms together in front of you. Rubbing them together. And taking the heated palms over the eyes. And brushing over the top of the head and down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. 